Well, hello and welcome again to our uh, daily video devotions. Joy and I are thrilled that uh, you're joining us today. We're going to be looking at a passage in, in John chapter 7, uh, kind of building off of what uh, we covered yesterday. To, before we get into the passage, though, just a bit of a background. Uh, we're now into the Feast of Booths. It was also called the Feast of Tabernacles. It's a several-day celebration, very similar to Passover. This one, though, looked forward to the day that God would liberate his people through the Messiah. But here's the key thing. The timing for that is whenever God willed it. So the festival was a reminder that freedom comes by relying on God alone. And to symbolize this, families would, when they got to Jerusalem, they would build these kind of rickety simple huts they were just out of branches and then they would live in them during the several day festival and all that said is that really to live we need god okay now with that background uh joy's going to read john chapter 7 verses 14 through 18. then midway through the festival jesus went up to the temple and began to teach the people were surprised when they heard him how does he know so much when he hasn't been trained they asked so Jesus told them, My message is not my own. It comes from God who sent me. Anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my teaching is from God or is merely my own. Those who speak for themselves want glory only for themselves. But a person who seeks to honor the one who sent him speaks truth, not lies. Thanks, Joy. And Jesus said this because lots of people thought that he would be the Messiah. Um, and they were waiting for this for hundreds of years, and they thought he was it. But like we read earlier, Jesus knew what was in human hearts. He knew their agendas and, and what they believed despite what they said, and, and he knew that didn't, what they said didn't line up with who he really is and, and what he's up to. Um, so he was leading a revolution. They wanted that. Okay. Um, but it was not what they were hoping for. His revolution was against the evil one, and, and the freedom people would experience would be liberation from sin. Mm. This uh, was the Father's will, and, and he alone gets the glory. Now, for Jesus, that's all that mattered, not getting credit or, or really achieving any kind of form of national glory. Well, and that takes us back to what John the Baptizer said. Um, Yes. He said, I must increase, I must decrease, and he, meaning God, must increase. And Jesus shows us what this looks like by speaking boldly about the true freedom that God wants for us. Um, for Jesus, it wasn't about his popularity or getting credit for anything. And that's really um, what his life was about. And what's good for Jesus is good for us as well. So as we think about getting back to normal... Because we're Christians, let's keep on praying that no matter what God's will shall be done. Okay. And going forward, let's lean on the biblical pillars for Christ's body, the church. You know, things like modeling love for others as we love ourselves, honoring those who are most vulnerable, uh, things like unity, so that what's good for some of us is going to be for every one of us. Uh, Things like boldly declaring God's justice and showing wise courage in the face of trials. You know, these are the things that Jesus stood for, uh, and and He showed us that these are the things that God's kingdom is is about. That um, it's really to God be the glory. Shall we pray? Sure. Okay. Lord Jesus, help us to live into Your will alone. Give us the courage to know that even during this crisis, all will be okay, no matter what the outcome. Use this time and use us to glorify your name. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we look forward to uh, tomorrow, uh, where we're going to be looking at another famous scene uh, in the Gospel of John, chapter 7, 53 through 8, through 8, 11. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.